For centuries, people have whispered tales of strange encounters across the world. Individuals, ships and even airplanes taken in the dead of night, vanishing into thin air. While extreme bad weather might be one of the reasons for the mysterious disappearances, we cannot rule out the hand of another supernatural force. Extraterrestrials Alien abductions, indeed have been one of the most fascinating and unnerving phenomena on Earth, sending shivers down the spines of the victims. But going back to eerie disappearances, the notorious Bermuda Triangle, has long been the epicenter of such horror stories. Ships vanish without a trace, planes fall off the radar, and those who venture too close, often never return. Similarly, the Alaska Triangle is notorious for many bizarre disappearances. An estimated 16,000 people have been reported missing over this place over the last many decades. But, there is another place having an area larger than the Alaska Triangle, and having more reported disappearances than the Bermuda Triangle. Today, we are going to dive deep into another spooky triangle in the Pacific Ocean, known as the Dragon's Triangle, situated near Japan. Its eerie reputation leaves us questioning whether there's more at work than nature alone, maybe extraterrestrials. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. On the southern coast of Japan, Bordered by Guam and Taiwan in the deep waters of the Pacific, lies the enigmatic Japanese Triangle, also known as the Dragon's Triangle. It is a place where unexplained occurrences baffle experts and locals alike. Here, the skies are filled with strange lights, coupled with ships and aircrafts vanishing into thin air. From fishermen to commercial pilots, a wide variety of eyewitnesses have come forward, with startling accounts of unidentified flying objects, strange movements in the sky, and eerie experiences they can't quite explain. Some believe it's the uncharted waters, but others suspect something far stranger, maybe aliens having a secret base underwater? The mystery of the Dragon's Triangle dates back to the early 18th century, when an encounter with a mysterious vessel was recorded in various Japanese texts and artworks of that time. The occupant inside the vessel was depicted to be a mysterious woman, with unfamiliar features holding a strange box, she refused to let go. The artistic renditions from many different artists at the time, show the vessel washed ashore, its unusual design standing out against the backdrop of traditional Japanese landscapes. While the story is considered a mysterious and unexplained phenomenon in Japanese folklore, it was only in 1858, when Japan opened its borders to the world after centuries of isolation, that sailors from around the world started drawing parallels, between the depictions of the strange vessel and the phenomenon that they had witnessed at sea. Japan signed the Harris Treaty with the United States in 1858, which opened Japan's borders to the world. Around this time, Dragon's Triangle gained notoriety for scary stories of ghost ships, randomly being spotted at sea. These eerie ships were often discovered intact, yet completely deserted, and sometimes just vanished in front of the witnesses. King George V was one of many people to witness one such ghost ship. On July 11, 1881, aboard the British warship HMS Bacanti as a part of the crew, Prince George encountered the infamous Flying Dutchman, glowing brightly on the waters just before sunrise in the deepest area of the Triangle. The sightings of ghost ships reduced until the late 20th century, but the incidents of vessels and aircrafts which have gone missing in the area haven't. Some even wonder if these mysterious disappearances are indeed caused by aliens having a secret base in the depths of the Dragon's Triangle. UFO or USO sightings in the Dragon's Triangle have significantly increased in the 20th century. The mysterious disappearance of Amelia Earhart was one of the first cases from the Dragon's Triangle to be widely popular across the world. On July 2, 1937, Amelia was completing the final leg of her world tour over the Dragon's Triangle. But was never seen again. Despite numerous search efforts and countless theories, 
From a crash at sea to being stranded on a remote island, her disappearance remains unsolved. On March 18, 1965, 43-year-old Captain Yashiharo Hanaba reported an unidentified oblong spacecraft approaching his plane while flying above the triangle. The captain then took a 60-degree turn at around 500 miles per hour to avoid collision with the craft. But the craft abruptly stopped and proceeded to follow the airplane. The captain recalls the craft to be about 50 feet in length and was radiating green light. Similar UFOs emitting green lights have been seen in Tehran and Chennai in 2024. But going back to Japan, Hanaba's sighting was also observed by several witnesses from the ground. Later that night, the same UFO was seen to be heading to Osaka, right towards the Dragon's Triangle. Then in 1977, the Reconnaissance Division of the Soviet Union started a scientific research project to examine USO and UFO phenomenon in the region. Large naval ships which were part of the project were given clear instructions on what to observe and look out for when sailing in the vicinity of the Triangle. Vladimir Jaja, a Russian ufologist, was aboard one of the ships involved in the project. On August 18, 1980, heading towards Okinawa, Ajaja reported seeing a cylindrical metallic-type USO, which was slowly rising from the sea and quickly darted away into the sky. He also says that the craft wasn't man-made, and the sighting still remains a mystery till date. Just eight months after this incident, Taikyoto Maru, a freighter ship sailing in this area, made contact with another USO. On April 17, 1981, on a clear day sailing with a crew of 30 members, the ship suddenly rocked, as if something hit it from underwater. A USO then emerged from the water, spanning 50 feet in length. The USO then hovered chaotically around the ship for about 15 minutes. All communication and contact of the ship was lost during the attack. The captain recalled that the ship was nearly capsized due to the violent waves made by the USO's rapid movement and added that the turbulence was increased when it returned to the water. But when he checked the time after the incident, he realized that they lost around 15 minutes, when the actual USO encounter felt like a few hours. In the 1980s, the Cairo Maru, the largest Japanese agricultural field ship, and the most advanced nautical ship at the time, spotted a UFO and a USO on two different occasions. In 1984, ufologist Mikio Noganobu, along with nine other scientists among the 31-member crew on the Cairo Maru, witnessed around 24 UFOs circling the ship. These UFOs were described as lights in the sky, and after a while, the 24 UFOs split in three different directions, and vanished without a trace. In 1986, the crew of the same ship encountered a huge cigar-shaped UFO approaching them within 100 feet of the ship, right before diving into the water. Were these aliens, keeping a close watch on the sailors above? Since then, the Dragon's Triangle has gained modern notoriety, and in 1989, Charles Berlitz, the author of The Bermuda Triangle, shined light on the phenomenon when he wrote The Dragon's Triangle, calling it infinitely more dangerous than the Bermuda Triangle. He went through several reports from the area, the reports of disappearances of ships and aircrafts in particular, along with reports of UFO sightings. From his research, he realized that the navigation on the ship or airplane often failed suddenly or gave wildly inaccurate readings while near the triangle. He also deduced that boats and airplanes often moved far off their course, in just a matter of seconds. This led to many believing that this area played havoc with the space-time continuum of Earth, just like the Bermuda Triangle. Many of the pilots and captains have also declared that their clock suddenly changed time while their crafts were leered off course. In the late 1950s, Arthur Godfrey, an American broadcaster and entertainer, experienced something very similar and frightening while flying over the Dragon Triangle, which almost cost him his life. 
He reported spotting a USO emerging from the water, while the instruments on his plane went dead. During this time, he had to navigate the plane by following the sun, as his compass was non-functional as well. When his radar started working again, he realized that he had missed significant time over the triangle, as the clocks literally rolled backwards. Strange occurrences above the dragon's triangle aren't exactly modern or new phenomena but have been happening since centuries. In the late 13th century, Kublai Khan, the founder and the first emperor of the Yuan dynasty of China, set sail to Japan as part of his expansion of the Mongol Empire. With around 900 ships and an army of 30,000 men at his disposal, victory seemed imminent for the emperor. But, once the ships reached the Dragon's Triangle, a strange meteorological phenomenon unfolded. According to the history of Yuan, a great storm arose and many warships were dashed on the rocks and destroyed. By morning, most of the ships in his fleet had vanished. And of the 30,000 strong invasion force, 13,500 did not return, marking the campaign as one of the greatest disasters in his reign. Talking about the latest sightings in the Dragon's Triangle, in 1990, a magazine editor named Masanobu Miyoshi, witnessed a UFO following a plane, flying above the triangle. 30 miles from the Tokyo beach, Masanobu saw a plane going in one direction, along with a white light closely following the jet. According to his statements, the craft moved like it was riding a W in the sky, while traveling at a super high speed. On June 14, 1997, ufologist Junichiro Kato captured a glowing disc, just above 200 yards away from the Bay of Tokyo. He too claimed that the UFO was traveling at a speed of 500 miles per hour, and disappeared into the sky after a very brief presence. In recent decades, Japan has continually updated its maritime safety protocols, in response to changing environmental conditions and advances in technology. Safety advisories are now more formally communicated to vessels, operating in regions known for unpredictable weather and strong currents, especially the Dragon's Triangle. Our journey through the Dragon's Triangle reveals a realm where history intertwines with the extraordinary. From the disastrous voyage of Kublai Khan to modern-day UFO sightings, this area has long been a hotspot for strange occurrences that challenge our grasp of reality. Are we truly alone in this vast universe, or are we sharing our skies and seas with beings from beyond our galaxy? What if, the true answer to these mysteries, is watching us from below the Pacific Ocean? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.